I had a little extra time during the holidays, so I took this, a Radio Shack clock kit, and I hacked it to make this, a rocket launcher, where I launched a 3D printed rocket. Stay tuned and I'll show you how I did it. Once I got it opened up, it was clear this thing is more than a clock kit. It's actually a microcontroller board. It's got a PIC 16 f 690 which is the same microcontroller I used in my book, Beginner's Guide to Embedded C Programming. So I know how to reprogram this thing, and it's even got a programming port right here on the board. So that means I can hook up my PIC Kit 2 programmer, and I can program this with any software that I have for the microchip PIC. And I have a lot of that. Now the board also has a push button switch right here which goes right into the microcontroller along with the LED displays. And then it's got this pin here that I can control as an output. So my thought is I could connect a relay to this thing and control that relay and make it control the launch of a rocket. And then use the push button to start a countdown. So the first thing I had to do was build this thing and make sure everything worked. And it's a pretty easy kit to put together. It took me uh, maybe 30 minutes to throw it together to put a chip and here it is working as a clock just as it intended to be. So the next step for me was to reflash the program. So I got it to count down in digits like this and then I changed it to be a T minus 10 display, T minus 9, 8. And then I even added this pause feature where you can press it and it'll pause so I can stop the countdown midway if something goes wrong. And then just press it again, it starts counting down and when it gets down to zero it says fire and drives the output as you'll see here the LED lights up. So I was ready to try this out. Here's the complete wiring including a preliminary box to hold the board. I added a power switch so I could turn it on and off and then I added a safety switch to control the circuit to the igniter so I can shut that off. So if I press the button it starts its countdown and you can see the red LED at the relay module is showing that continuity is set. Now I can pause it here at six seconds and then once I start it again this thing would count down and fire. But if I shut off the safety switch this thing can go down to fire and it's not going to launch the relay. So that's my override. So you can see here it's going to count down to fire but the igniter doesn't burn up. So let's try this again. It resets itself after a few seconds. Let's start the countdown and now I'll flip the switch back on to enable and see the LED is lit. Enable the igniter and now this thing's going to count down and when it gets to fire it should launch and burn this igniter. And there you go. So the system is working just as intended. I printed a new cover for the box and then I was able to fit everything inside the box. I'll talk more about this box on a future Filament Friday. And then I flipped the switch on, I flipped the igniter switch on, I pressed the button and then I quickly got out of there so this thing could count down. Now if you notice the rockets also got 3D printed fins and cone. So I'll talk more about that on a future Filament Friday as well. But once it hit the fire point, boom there it was. The rocket took off just as intended. It worked beautifully. So if you want to see some of my other projects, click on the videos over here. I'll take you right to it. If you want to help support the channel and projects like this and see behind the scenes, because Patreon people got to see this long before this, just click on the Patreon logo. A dollar a month gives you full access. So that's it for this video. I'll see you next time.